finally, finally, the cybersecurity guy <laughs> is going to get into some cybersecurity. Holy moly, imagine the channel that's been about hiking and life events and everything, you know. But uh, as I sit here awaiting the hurricane, uh, it looks like it's going to come right over Ocala, Florida, which is where I'm at. Um, and you say, well, you know, you're inland. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Michael, uh, but when it came up through the uh, panhandle there, I... I drove down 10 on my way to Biloxi and the trees were snapped in half 90 miles inland and, uh, and that's about where I'm at. So it should get interesting. I'll probably make, I mean, I guess the next few days is going to be a lot of videos. You're going to be going like, why is this guy posted so damn many videos? Well, I want to do some hurricane updates. We're going to do some computer updates. Uh, it's going to be a fun couple of days. I'm trapped. I'm trapped in the house. I ain't going to be leaving the house. I would have the dog here to exploit him, but he's passed out in the office and uh, I don't want to bother him because he's going to have a rough couple of days. Uh, just briefly, let's just get into the hurricane for two seconds and then we're going to get into um, cybersecurity. So first thing was uh, I was talking about, you know, the uh, refrigerator freezer. This is a Cooler Shock uh, ice pack. I have a few of these for camping. Unfortunately, they uh, during the Great Purge up in Lynchburg, Virginia, these were stolen from me by the real estate agent up there. Um, but uh, I still got a few of these left, and these are a lot better than ice for sure. Uh, so this will keep everything frozen in that freezer if I lose power, which I'm sure I will. Uh, we're looking at 75 mile an hour to 100 mile an hour winds. Uh, the next thing that I just briefly, this real beef, uh, you know, for the hurricane, I got a couple, three of these. I'm going to fill these up with uh, filtered water. I'll have these just sitting out. And, uh, and, and of course, the refrigerator is already completely full of, of canned uh, pop, uh, you name it. And see, all of that liquid will keep the refrigerator nice and cold. And then I'll put as many of these in there as I can. Uh, the last thing is, uh, you know, for camping, you know, if you ever got one of these, it's a little... I don't know, was it five gallons or so? You know, I'll fill this up with uh, just tap water. By the way, I got to clean this out because uh, it hadn't been used. What you want to do is put a little Clorox down in here, uh, swish it around, let it sit for, well, I'll probably let it sit for about an hour tonight. And, uh, well, maybe not that long. It depends on when the hurricane's going to hit. And uh, that'll kill any uh, anything in here. And then I'll dump that water out, rinse it out real good, and then just fill it with water. So I got that. That'll be good for flushing the toilet. I don't have a, uh, if you got a bathtub, of course, you're going to fill that up. Um, this is, uh, I got two of these, man. I tell you what, I love these freaking things. This is the San, S-A-N-G-A-N um, radio. It's got the weather channel. I'll be listening to that as the hurricane rolls in. Um, you know, just to, just to show you, I mean, it's such a little compact thing. It takes four AA batteries. Uh, listen. I, you know, I tried to karaoke this song one time. <laughs> it was bad. It was real bad. Wait, let's just listen two seconds. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't want to get into copyright. And Z's a monkey. All right, so I think I can put that on there without violating copyright. Um, so, oh yeah. Uh, well, I guess that's about it for, for a hurricane. Let's get into uh, the computer build. Um, you know, and, and I'm, let's just talk about how I'm approaching the project. So the first thing uh, that you want to do, and that's why I got this sitting right here on top, is uh, I'm getting rid of all the old hardware. Uh, I mean, it's hard parting ways with this stuff. Because back in the day, man, I bet this was a $500 uh, card. You know, this is, the, uh, this is the Radon 1950 Pro PCI Express Vision Tech XGE Vision 1. You know, and by the way, you see how it's in a... Um, uh, uh, electrostatic bag uh get into that in just a minute and i kept thinking maybe someday i'll have a use for this card now i uh, the linksys router that i bought uh i bought it you know and that's this is one reason that it's not good to buy refurbished equipment um it crapped out on me man i, I tried everything i could think of to get it to work uh with my equipment here in the house and i bricked that and you know, and, and sometimes, you know, you just got to cry, cry on your way to Best Buy. To take it to recycle, recycle it. OK, don't just throw it in the garbage. I took it to Best Buy to have it recycled. And, you know, and it was great because I got to talk to the um, behind the counter there. What are they called? The Geek Squad. 
And, uh, and I was telling him, I said, man, this is a $350 brick I'm giving you. I said, I just want to cry. He goes, he says, you know what? He says, I had the same problem with that router, Linksys. Uh, you know, I, I tell you, I, I don't know about the rest of their equipment. I wouldn't buy anything Linksys, though, either. The main thing they wanted was me to go up and register on the cloud, and I couldn't do anything locally, hardly, with the router until I had to log into it with the IP address 192.168.1.1. I think I made a previous video about that. And uh, then after I got it configured, and anyway, um, I'm back to the old, old, old Netgear router, but it's an, it's an AC router. I called it an AX in a previous video. No, it's an AC, old router. Uh, but it, you know, it runs the TVs and everything, but we're going to get into that. So um, what is it? What are some of the things that I got to do? I got an old Dell computer in here. I'm going to recycle that as I'm working. I'm, and basically what I'm building here is not just a PC. I'm building what I'm calling the creator household. I want to be able to create videos uh, professionally in, in my house. Uh, hence the, uh, the 65 inch TCL uh, mini LED. One guy corrected me. He says, you, you called it a micro LED. <laughs> I said, well, yeah, you're right. You know, it is, it's a mini LED TV. I, I'm pretty sure this runs with gigabyte six. Uh, so I, that, and by the way, that's something you might want to watch on YouTube is a couple of the videos there that talk about the, you know, the different Wi-Fi, uh, you know, like you've got the old 2.4, and if you want to get computer certified, they're going to make you study that stupid crap that nobody uses anymore. It's only got three channels, you know, and, and then you get into the, uh, the old, the, the, the old five gigahertz. And then of course, then you got the six gigahertz and then you got the six E and anyway, it just keeps advancing. And, uh, but the, the six gigahertz, that's a, that's a huge, and I think this TV will communicate at six. I, I think I, mean, I know my Samsung Galaxy S22 phone does, and that's going to be a big difference on uh, using the phone, even just uploading videos and stuff. Hell, it's fast as hell right now. So we're getting into uh, basically just outfitting the the household for technology. And, and so what I was going to get into was I got two servers in the office, and and you know your purposes change, your life changes, you know. Where you're going changes, and I built those as a RAID uh, one mirror uh, way back uh, in the day, maybe uh, 2016, I think was the last build, and the one before that was like 2010. And uh, so I've got, I mean, I've got the Cat Daddy uh, uh, power supplies in those. I've got a gazillion SATA drives because back then I was doing a lot of virtualization, running uh, various Linux operating systems. And see, these aren't things that you're going to be concerned about. So I needed a ton, a ton of disk space. So what I want to do is I'm going to, I'm backing up those computers. I'm, I'm going to image those and then I'm going to uh, bust that RAID apart and use those hard drives in the new computer build because they're still great drives. Uh, and so I got to take those apart. I got to get rid of the Dell computer, get rid of some some old video cards and stuff. Uh, good Lord, I got foot lockers of cables <laughs> from from old motherboards and everything else, and I got to go through all of that. Uh, so there are some things that I haven't bought yet, but let's let's just get into the very first thing that we're going to cover in the next uh, couple of days. And this is, and I wasn't, I'd, like I said, I wasn't intending. To get into this, uh, I was trying to use that Linksys router, and because that was a nice um, router, and uh, but like I said, it bricked on me. So I said, you know what, you just gotta, and that's that's something else. Don't ever buy a piece of equipment when you're too busy to deal with it and not get on it right away where it's still under warranty. So for example, I bought the CC Crane uh, Walkman. Um, it crapped out on me, man, and and so I contacted CC Crane, and they RMA'd it for me. I mean, it's been a couple of months, and uh, and I sent that in along with the day that I bricked the uh, router. But but if I hadn't acted on that right away, and that's I mean seventy bucks, right? I, I don't know what they're going to do. They may just say, you know, it looks fine to us, and send it back to me, or maybe it'll get lost in the mail. <laughs> and I won't get anything, you know. But at least uh, at least you know I'm trying underneath the warranty. So I just want to get into the specs on this thing because there there are other routers and I, that, that's another thing. I'm talking to the geek guy at, at Best Buy. This is the exact same router that he bought. Now, you're looking at $500 to $600 for this. Um, you can buy a, a lesser router that's uh, that's going to could serve your purpose if you're just going to watch TV or something. If you're going to do any sort of creator or uh, gaming 
or any of that sort of thing. Now this is, this is more of a creator type of laptop. There are gaming uh, routers that you can buy that are better. Now I'm not going to, I might put some links to a couple of other routers that I considered. Uh, by the way, that's one thing you want to look at down below in this video is I'm going to have links to everything that I talk about on Amazon and on uh, Newegg for you to, to go out and, and read about. And, and if I have any videos on YouTube that I really, really liked, because uh, that, that's another thing. My God, I bet I've watched I mean, I, I, I can't wait to watch a good movie. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I just want to watch something fun, man. In fact, I got to get caught up on the uh, the Hobbit series or whatever the one on the on the uh, the Rings uh, videos on Amazon, you know. But I've been so busy building, learning. I mean, that's that's another thing, education about all this stuff. So let's just I, and by the way, and another thing to YouTube YouTubers, all right. I am not going to torture you as one of my watchers with me unboxing this thing and going, here's the router. Oh my God, doesn't it look fantastic? It's black and it's got white streaks on it, you know, and oh, it came with the power cord. No, no, no. And, and that they call them unboxing videos. Those are the most useless, stupid videos. And I, I don't, I'm not trying to insult anybody, but who cares, right? Do would you want to see me like, Un take the plastic off of this and rip it out and, and show you all the parts? No. Who gives a crap, man? What you're going to be interested in is, is all the stuff, all the hoops I'm going to have to jump through to get this uh, get this all working. Uh, so, okay, so the first thing uh, let's get into with any sort of new uh, hardware setup or creator or whatever is uh, I'll be taking this box. I'm not even going to open it, okay? And on here is the is the uh, model number, the serial number, the barcodes. I'll be putting this all in a file on my computer, okay? And then I'll back that up to multiple backups. And that'll do that with every single piece of creator uh, hardware that I'm buying, okay? And software and all of the order files, all that stuff, you're going to organize it and make sure that you've got it because if something here doesn't, because a lot, this is all technology, man. I mean, you know, some of, sometimes it works perfectly. Sometimes you got problems. So you want all of that information. You know, these people that rip the boxes apart and just throw the box in, and that's another thing I'm going to be keeping, unfortunately, but luckily my wife, you know, my ex-wife, she moved out of the house. I got tons of room and some closets and I'll keep these boxes just in case uh, they fail within the next, uh, well, about two years. And then you can throw the boxes away, you know. But I, I keep them just in case because, you know, you want to be able to repackage it and send it back. So let me just, uh, and, and I will torture you with uh, reading off of the box because this is going to be our first project. Okay, so this is uh, this is good. It's a 2021 Netgear. The Nighthawk is trademark. Uh, it's two to do. Um, 90 day come. Complimentary technical support. That's pretty good. That's why I'm saying you got to be able to act on this stuff fast. So I got 90 days of technical support trying to put this in. This is good. I didn't even realize clients uh, must support six uh, six gigahertz band uh, Wi-Fi 6E, which is good. You want to learn about 6E and what it is? Uh, there's a couple of great YouTube videos where they you know they break it all out. Six gear is limited to uh, indoor range. Okay, well that's yeah. Okay, who cares? Uh, maximum while derived from, uh, yeah, the 802.11 standard. If you want to learn about that, go take a computer certification class. And so, uh, and then, and then this is uh, connecting to other 802.11 AX. Okay. I, and I, like I said, in a previous video, I, I said a AX, it was really AC, but th this is an AX router, uh, which gives you 10.8 gigabits, uh, devices, you know, so like I said, the phone, and I think this TV are going to work on this. And uh, and then, of course, the new computer. I, I th I'm i not sure. I, I, I think it's one down. Uh, I think. It, well, we'll see. We're going to get into that in a minute. So let's see. Uh, do, 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 24 hour technical support for gigabit Ethernet LAN. Oh, so, OK, so here's the kind of the specs on it. So you got two USB 3.0 ports. Now that where that's going to come in handy is if I want to run like a like a NAS type situation. So I can hook up. I've got uh, about 15 terabytes of uh, backup devices, and I can hook them right into these USB ports. And then from now on, I don't I don't have to worry about you know connecting them into the USB port of individual computers. I can just go right across the router. Now my old Netgear router had problems with that, and I never ever used it. But I bet with this new router, we're going to find out. I bet I can use it. 
And then I just keep the backup devices just connected to here. And, you know, at the end of the day, when you're done working, copy your stuff out to your, um, your backup. It's got the internet port here. So let's see. Uh, it's got two one gig, multi gig internet, four gigabit internet LAN ports to connect to more wired devices. So you got four ports to, to and I've got, like I said, I already got two computers in there and I'll be connecting those up. And then one 2.5 gig multi gig port uh, for a little bit faster. Now, uh, one guy pointed out, and we're, we're going to get, well, we're going to get into that when I get into the motherboard. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I want to tell you about the router. Yeah, it supports all older Wi-Fi devices, so all your old stuff's going to continue to work with this. Yeah, let's just read the propaganda here for two more seconds. Suitable for up to 60 devices. Speeds up to 10.8 gigabits per second. Uh, the new 6 gigahertz band, we talked about that. 12 stream tri-band Wi-Fi. Tri-band Wi-Fi 60 delivers multiple 4K or 8K streaming. I, I don't have 8K, but if you got an 8K TV, boy, there you go, man. Ultra low latency gaming, new blazing feed. So this is a good gaming router if you want to use it for that. Multi, like I said, the 2.5 gigabit uh, port. Uh, to maximize if you got a if you got a, a computer that can run on that of course the one gigabit uh, Wi-Fi speeds and uh, well and then of course it does come with the quad core one giga one gigahertz processor which I mean you know I don't know why they don't put better processors in these routers but I mean that's still damn good I mean you, you know you're looking at a six hundred dollar router right here right so that's it so this is going to be the first big huge project this video is going to get a little long in the tooth i tell you what well let's just keep going dang on it I, I i will get at least the motherboard out of the way uh this is this was a compromise all right now if you know i've talked about i'm not a huge fan of the um gigabyte motherboards but uh <coughs> excuse me the only other motherboard that came close to uh well i wanted to pull the trigger on but i couldn't find it was the ASUS ProArt X570 Creator Motherboard Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi version. But, I mean, if you look at Newegg, it's $682 at Newegg. Um, I mean, it's got three M2 slots. This has got four. Six SATA ports. Uh, but the thing is, it's got the, what, this is what I was going to tell you. It's got the 10 gigabyte USB front port. So that's huge. I mean, that that's like a $100 upgrade to buy a card to put in this motherboard just to have that. So if... If I could have found the Asus motherboard for, I think I paid about 360, uh, 360, 380 for this. So that'd be 480. If I could have found it for 480, I would have bought the Asus. But am I going to pay 682 when I could just get a card and put that in here? And, and a lot of times on these PCI 4 uh, slots, uh, the card is actually better than just having the port on the motherboard. You know, I, I was like, well, no. I, I and And also I think, well, also, I think it also supports a little bit better Wi-Fi, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, but you can go up on uh, on YouTube, and if you want to just type in Asus ProArt X570 Creator, and uh, you can watch some videos on that motherboard. But I wanted to show you the two that I boiled everything down to. And then also Asus, or a Gigabyte, also has a uh, Arrow version of this motherboard. But when I compared the two, I liked the Master just a little bit better. And uh, I thought it was, uh, it was, seems good. So let's, uh, let's just get into the, the specs on the motherboard real quick. <sighs> All right, direct 14 plus two phases, Infidon digital VRM solution with power state, whatever the hell that means, who knows? I, I love how they put this stuff on here to make it sound like advanced thermal design. Oh, that's, a, that's another thing. This is the, uh, this is what's called the X570S. Now you gotta be careful. Uh, a lot of the X570 motherboards are the old motherboards, and uh, they improved that technology. Those are like three years old, man. You don't want to buy any of those. All right, you want to get the S. Now, what the S means is that they put thermal protection on the motherboard so that you don't have to have fans everywhere. Now, I'm, of course, I'm still going to have fans in the case and everything, but but yeah, and, and, and also they improve things uh, with this version of the motherboard. So be careful what you're buying. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get into... Um, full PCIe 4.0 design so that and that's another thing I liked about this motherboard look at this you got one two three P 
PCIe 4.0 ready. Now, a lot of the motherboards, if you look at them, uh, they might have one 4.0 uh, M.2 and or it slot, and then they'll have just well the, the, the M.2 slots are different, but I mean, or then the, then the other slots won't be PCIe 4.0. So be careful what you're getting. So that's what I liked about this motherboard. Also, I can put I think four M.2. Now I only bought two M.2, uh, but let's just get into um, what what you've got here. CPU per sort the AMD Ryzen series processors, AMD socket, AMD AM4. Always you know pay attention to your socket. Uh, AMD's uh, X570 chip chipset, graphics interface. One PCIe 4.0 by 16 plus one PCIe 4.0 by 8 graphics interface. Memory type dual channel DDR4. Um, that's another thing. You know the new the new motherboards. Like I said, we're, this is. This is the peak time for the te to the technology. The new the new stuff coming out leapfrogs this by you know a huge amount. Let's let's say it's it's you know three times better than what you can buy right now. But you know the DDR4 memory is is dirt cheap right now, and we'll get into that in just a minute. Whereas the DDR5, which is what the new technology is going, and it's not really going to be available for like six months. Uh, you know, and, and and with the supply chain and you know global thermal nuclear war <laughs> on the horizon i'm not sure how much the availability is going to be on that stuff in the next six months to a year so i i wanted to pull the trigger now expansion slots or but dims you can put up to four dims in here uh that's 128 gigabytes <laughs> Oh, memory, oh my God. I'm gonna get into the memory in just a minute. I bought 64 gig, but I'm only using two of the slides. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, the SATA M.2, six SATA three and four, four M.2 for SSD. Now you can run RAID on this motherboard. I probably won't, but you got RAID zero, RAID one and RAID 10. If you, if you ever wanna go onto YouTube or whatever, you can study what RAID is. Uh, RAID, RAID 0 is basically striping. If you don't care about losing everything because one hard drive fails, run RAID 0. It's, and it's very, it's a lot faster than just uh, running, like I might run RAID, I probably, yeah, I will definitely run RAID 0 across the two M.2s, assuming that I can do that with this motherboard. And, uh, and that way you're, you're striping your data across two, two drives, but if one of them fails, the whole computer's kaput. Of course, RAID 1 is just a mirror, so now you're, you're, you're losing half your storage, right? And that's what I've got on these computers in my office. I got RAID 1, and that's what I'm telling you. I'm going to break that off because I don't I don't need a mirror no more. If, if a hard drive fails, I've got the backup. And then, of course, you got RAID 10, which is the best of both worlds, and you can, you can go up on um, YouTube and study that. So let's get into the USB. I mean, this is pretty damn good, man. One USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 Type-C. Uh, that's very nice to have. Uh, you can put a monitor right into there. One USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type C. Well, I don't know why. Oh, oh, Gen 2. Oh, Gen 2. And the other one's two by two. I'm not sure what the difference is there. I guess I, I'm still learning. I'm still educating myself. Five USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A's plus six USB 3.2 Gen 1 plus eight. Uh, US boy eight USB two point what the hell you need to, eight USB two point oh whatever I mean but uh, audio uh, and that's another thing I, I like the fact that on this motherboard is the audio is built in I mean I, I just I, I used to buy those creative uh, audio cards and all of that crap I just assume have it on here so uh, it's the Realtek ALC one two two zero dash VB plus ESS nine one one eight I have no idea what that means but I. I think it means it's pretty damn good audio. Uh, now this is what I was talking about, the difference between this motherboard and the um, the ASUS. It only has the uh, 2.5 gigabit E LAN, whereas the uh, the ASUS has the 10, 10 gigabit uh, wireless. Uh, now this is pretty awesome, man. It's got the Wi-Fi 6.E, which I told you I'm gonna be running it right here next to the TV. Wi-Fi 6.E 802.11ax plus I'm not sure what BT5 is. I'll have to look into that. And of course, the form factor is a ATX. Uh, I would much prefer to have an ATX extended motherboard. I just think that anytime you're getting a motherboard, that extra space uh, allows the people who create these uh, a little bit of extra room to uh, to to make sure everything works rather than packing it all in. But I mean, that's 
that's what I'm saying, man. I mean, and of course, the thermal design, I was talking about that because this is the S version, the M.2 Thermal Guard 3, the Nano Carbon Fins Array 2, and the 9W slash MK Thermal Connect con Conductivity Pad, and the Thermal Brace Plate. I mean, you know, who knows what the hell all that shit is. Uh, the the Soar free with Wi-Fi 6E 2x2802.11ax wireless. Woohoo! All right, so that's kind of it. I just wanted to read the specs on the motherboard, and um, and so you know that's what I'm saying uh, is I will be recording all of this into my computer. And if you look, where's it at? Should be yeah. See, there's the there's the label with all the serial number and all of that information, and you're going to want to make note of all of that so that's uh that'll be that's not the project for the next couple of days main thing is to get that router operational so the next couple of things i just got some notes here i did go ahead and pull the trigger on the uh computer case uh i don't have it here it's not coming till um the first week of october but I went with the lee and lee now I go up on um, youtube and you can learn about the lee and lee uh 011 uh, and then uh, one of the things they have a number of, of cases in this line you know and and so I, they talk about the mid-sized cases versus the extra large cases well I'm telling you the extra large case it easily I mean you can put an extended ATX motherboard in the mid-sized cases but it's going to be very tight fit and, and routing all those cables and everything even with the lee and lee these are super configurable cases you know you're you're, you're getting into to doing everything i like a bigger case and so you think well god why do i want something that big it's not that damn much bigger you're only talking about like an inch and a half <laughs> you know what I mean? who cares you know the width of the thing is about the same as the mid-size case and it as long as it fits underneath my desk in the office or you know well i'm gonna be having it right here sitting out so anyway, that's the case that I'm, and when I get that, we'll do a, do a quick review of that. Let's see, I, some other motherboards that I did look at was the, um, I had it right here, the AS Rock X570 Tai Chi AM4, uh, X570, you know, uh, AMD. That was a good one. You know, I mean, there was, there was, there were good choices. Like I said, the Asus was the best. This was the second place. And then of course the AS Rock was, was third place. And you can watch the videos on those to figure out what you want to do. Uh, the next thing I wanted to get into was the random access memory. Man, I tell you, it, it, it's, it, that's a whole education in and of itself. I mean, random access memory, even even as a computer guy, I mean, I get confused about all this stuff. C16 versus C18 and, you know, and everything. And then uh, I almost made a huge mistake because I, I, I don't care about the beauty of the computer. I don't need bright LEDs and, you know, uh, flowing stuff in a, in a glass front to the case. You know, I'm all about just power, raw power. You know, I want to be able to, I don't even want to see the damn computer, probably sit behind the the uh, TV in here, you know, and, and so I had bought the Neo and I didn't really understand what the Neo was. That just means it's got LED lights and it was like 30 bucks more. And I almost made a huge mistake. I just caught this the other night. And so I went back and I got the uh, Rip Saws. This is the um, Rip, J -saw, Rip Jaws uh, DD4 Performance Memory. Uh, you can get it at Amazon. It really wasn't that. This is the... Um, F4 3600C 18D 64 gig. Uh, so I got, and th you know these are dual. You, you'll have to study memory, but these are dual, dual panels. And always, you know, with computer memory, and I'm not sure if it's true today, but it used to be. You always wanted to take at least two slots. So I'm going to have uh, 64 gigabytes of memory in this thing, but I can always add another 64 gig. Uh, I just don't see where I'm going to need that. Uh, so this is uh, this is just. A, brief propaganda this memory kit will boot at the spd speed when the bias settings are at default um not sure what that means uh and then of course it gives you their information all right so let's just read their propaganda uh g g dot skill rip jaws v series is the latest ddr4 memory design for maximum performance and compatibility each RIP JAWS V memory kit is manufactured with hand-screened ICs 
and rigorously tested under G-Skill's extensive suite of testing process to ensure complete reliability and stability in your DDR4 system. All G-Skill memory products come with a lifetime warranty. And so, you know, I mean, this is about the best memory I could find. And like I said, don't get the Neo. This was 30 bucks cheaper. Uh, I think it was about $200. That ain't, man, for 64 gigabytes of RAM. I mean, I, I just want to pinch myself. I mean, the whole world has gone damn batshit crazy, you know? We got Russia threatening global thermonuclear war, and I'm picking that up. Uh, let's get into the processor real quick. Um, this is the... Uh, this is the AMD Ryzen 5000 uh, processor. Now, the uh, 5070 is a much better processor, but it was a huge leap in price. I think I got this for like a little over 300, and, and once again, you were jumping up to five or 600. And if you watch the videos, I mean, the specs on the five, uh, 570 or the 5070 is, is a lot better. Well, I shouldn't say a lot better. It's a little bit better than this one, but this was a good compromise. And I'm not, yeah, see, this is the, this is the 5900X, okay? And uh, you could get the 5970X, which is a better processor, but it's a huge jump in price. But let me just read you the specs real quick. This is the AMD Ryzen, R-Y-Z-E-N. I kept, I kept misspelling that. What the hell is a Ryzen? R-I-Z-E-N, R-Y-Z-E-N 9 5900X. Don't, I mean, don't go down to the 5800 or the, I mean, at this point, this process is the only one you should be buying unless you're going to get the 5970. I mean, why would you go back in, in technology? Because they're about, I mean, they're not that much difference in the price. This 12 core, 24 thread processor, PCIe 4.0. So once again, you got to be make sure it's compatible with the motherboard. 4.8 gigahertz max boost, whatever that means. 3.7 gigahertz base. Discrete graphics card required. Now we haven't gotten into the graphics card and I haven't decided on what graphics card I'm going to get. I'm still researching that and I'm not going to bore you with all the stuff on the back. This does, well, it's kind of disappointing here. It only comes with a three year limited warranty. Um, so that's it for that. Uh, thank God I didn't get all the computer components. I mean, uh, uh, this video is going to be hugely long. This <laughs> this is the NHD 15 SE AM4 socket cooler for the and like I said I had to get the big case. Uh, this is the special edition for the AM4, so it'll only work in that slot. Uh, and this is what I'll be using to cool down the uh, the processor. Um, why did you think I needed something this insane? <laughs> because I'm living in Florida, man. I'm going to keep my house at 80 to 85 degrees. I got to make sure that I've got the, 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 that's what the bigger case, lots of fans. I mean, you know, I got to make sure that, you know, that the temperatures inside that computer case are not going to get, get uh, crazy. So let's just read the, the quick propaganda on here. Award-winning NHD 15 cooler, six heat pipe, dual tower design, uh, widened fin stack and expanded heat pipe layout, high RAM compatibility in single fan mode, uh, dual NF-A15 one, 140mm fans, uh, the PWM support and low noise adapter, excellent component cooling, uh, secure firm 2 mounting system for the AM4. All right, so that's about it. Uh, I mean, when I get into building the computer, we'll talk about this. And then the, the company that makes this is Noct Noctua, N-O-C-T-U-A, uh, design in Austria. I'll be damned. Who would have thought? Um, so, and you know, you could get into the size and the spec and all of that. We're not, I won't talk about that. So that's it. Uh, that's kind of all that I've gotten so far. Uh and uh, like I said, we're going to get into the router in the next couple of days, and I'll be giving you some hurricane updates, uh, maybe showing you the dog scurrying around the house. <laughs> As a, you know, he'll, be, he'll be going crazy, especially if we get some thunderstorms through here. Um, I, 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 is it, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to talk about. Well, like they said, the graphics card I'm still working on. The power supply, I'm not sure if I'm going to scalp one of the power supplies out of my old computers the SATA hard drives like I said I'm going to scalp those out of the old computers and the M2 uh, memory didn't come and we'll talk about that when it gets here and, and my thoughts on that because there was three different options that I could have gone with for the M2 memory 
and I'll explain why I went with what I went. All right, so peace out, stay free, good to live in the free, the free, the free, the free state of Florida. Peace out and stay free. <clears throat>